so for this morning's meeting, we've got a couple things on the agenda to discuss. Um, first off, I'm going to start with talking about our scheduling processes because um, I know some of our staff are using their Outlook calendars and some of our staff are using Web Tracker. Some people use both, um, but that's creating double bookings and it's and those double bookings can create a lot of confusion in the front reception area when those double bookings do occur. Um, so I would like to talk about some processes around how maybe we can kind of streamline it, that process to um, make it a little more easier for the receptionists and um, make the appointments flow a little, a little more fluidly. Um, Eleanor, are you using Web Tracker or are you primarily using Outlook for yours? I primarily use Web Tracker, okay. but um, I try to keep Outlook just for my own personal appointments, okay. but that doesn't mean there couldn't be some conflict there. Right. Because if you have an appointment or something like that, that might not be reflected in the tracker. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. And what about yourself? Um, I use both, but I find that I'm in a really unique situation because I am the contact between the two different facilities. Right. So our only contact with the other facility is through Web Tracker. Mm -hmm. um, however, mm -hmm. all of our facilitators use Outlook. So I'm That's having true. to do Outlook because it's easier for them to pull up email as opposed to Web Tracker because depending on where they are, they might not have access. Um, so I know like what happened this week with, um, with one of our classes who had all, a whole bunch of appointments. Um, it was in Outlook, but it was not in Web Tracker, and then they were booked, double booked into Web Tracker as okay. well as doing a training session. So um, we had a major confusion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's um, the solution? I, my thoughts are I, I've already talked to IT, and we cannot... We cannot merge both, so there's okay. there won't okay. be any communication between a web tracker calendar and an Outlook calendar, so that's not okay. going to be an option for us. Okay. So my thoughts are either we suggest to people use one or the other, and then the company is all on the same page so that there's no confusion. Okay, right. They'll just need to use web tracker. Yeah, okay. because our downtown location also has access to web tracker as well, and. It, with Outlook, you'd have to grant access to everybody to be able to view different calendars, which I think could be very confusing. Yeah. Well, and Web Tracker being web based as well, mm -hmm. um, if we are away, we can still remote it that way. Um, so. Yeah. Okay, so are you guys okay with that? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so I'll head that one up and um, we'll have to send out some sort of communication to staff uh, regarding that. Yeah, if you want to um, put uh, maybe like a little tutorial together on how to use the full-on calendars yep. in Web Tracker. Um, the next thing I'm going to need to do is obviously change our policies um, mm -hmm. so that it reflects that we're no longer using Outlook for calendars right. uh, purposes and make sure that the training package is associated with the okay. policy. So if we can do that. And then um, we're going to have to get that out to the class or to all employees yeah. as soon as possible so that we don't have a major issue like we had earlier this week. Right, okay. Perfect. So that will go with your policy updates. I will okay. include that. Um, so in regards to the communication, then, are we looking at doing a mass training? Because um, I know that this week we do have a staff training, an all-staff training. Or That's do we want to do it via email? Um, Let's do both. I think we could, yeah, I, I would Not agree with you. always have those massive staff trainings. Yeah. And then we'll also have something written down we can refer to to make sure we're doing it correctly, et cetera. So we'll do both. We can send an email, and we can also touch base um, with our all-staff meeting on Thursday with everybody. Okay. Sound good? Perfect. Okay. Well, we're on the topic of emails. Yeah. I don't know about the rest of you, but I get a lot of emails. Yeah, of course. And, of course, I respond to them all eventually, but I think it would be really helpful if, A, our subject lines were more specific. Okay. Um, sometimes people don't even put a topic a subject, in a subject yeah. line, and yeah. that drives me crazy. Yeah. And but. Even more, it would be great if we could label it um, maybe urgent or Please read. FYI yeah. or response required or response not required. Just something right. to, to help me prioritize those emails. I, I think, think in regards to that, though, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Um, people, I, I've been getting a bunch of emails that are like high importance that are not high importance. Like mm -hmm. That's true. Jokes. So I think we need to have some sort of a, um, again, a policy, a policy in regards to who's Okay. What actually constitutes a high priority <laughs> and needs to be dealt with quickly. Okay. Do you want to get together tomorrow or? Sure. Yeah, we'll and then get we the can bring it up with the staff. And we'll get the, okay. determine what the actual Perfect. 
words are that we're going to use and wonderful yeah and then yeah. we can communicate Absolutely. that out so okay. if you guys put okay. that together sure um and then I can also include that in the staff-wide email that I'll send out okay. uh, regarding scheduling. And so we that can way. talk about it on our training. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, lastly, on our agenda is the office party oh. that is coming up. Um, we don't have very many people on our social committee, and it's a quite a bit of work for just one person to be doing on their own. Um, so I don't know if the two of you would be interested in helping participate in that. If not, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in everybody's lives outside of work. Um, so that's also something that I'll probably send out in an email as well, but I'd like okay. to offer it up to you guys if that's something you were interested in. Um, but we'll need to have, I would say a handful of people, maybe at least three to four um, working on it collaboratively to uh, Okay, so you're interested in us and in us recruiting others. Perfect. Yes. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I am. Problem. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, but by no means, don't feel pressure to participate in it, but if you have the time, um, oh, I would fun. greatly appreciate it. Okay. Um, so we've taken care of that. Any other things, any other outstanding objects and topics that we need to talk about? No, I think we're good. I think we're ready for okay. uh, our staff meeting tomorrow. Perfect. So I'll start working on the scheduling process communication. Okay. You guys can... Uh, touch base with the policy updates and the email and subject emails, lines right. that we can all put that together okay. for everybody for Thursday. And that seems like we've covered everything. Great. Right. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks ladies. ladies. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Thanks.